Good to catch up ahead of Saturday's game against Fleetwood. Not the result we wanted at Lincoln last weekend, but do you feel confident that we can bounce back this time around? Yeah, I think we've had a good week of training, so we're raring to go, ready to bounce back. Lincoln was a, it was a bit of an off day, wasn't it? I think we, we've played, obviously we, we, we've lost games before, but played much better than that. It just didn't seem to quite click. What do you think the reason for that was? Yeah, I feel like we never really got into the game. We weren't playing the way we wanted to play. So I think with games like that, if you don't, if we're not at our best or at where we need to be, we're going to struggle. Is there anything you can perhaps share from from the changing room, either between the players or what what the manager said to you after that game? I think it's just um, reacting to adversity. When things go wrong, we we need to be able to adjust our game plan, play differently, realize what's going wrong, and just reacted out on the pitch. Of course, we're, we're facing a team in Fleetwood who have, you know, they, they've had a rough season, but they've sort of found a little bit of form, started to pick up results slowly. So this is perhaps a, a very different opponent to one that we may have faced, you know, if we played them a couple of months ago, say. Yeah, I think every game is a big game. I see it as so every game we're going to have a team that's in a different situation, in a good run of form and a bad run of form. So I think we just have to focus on us, focus on what we're going to do to get a result. Is that the message you've sort of got amongst yourselves? Is that whether you're playing top of the league, whether you're playing bottom of the league, that... You know, every opponent, every opponent really is the same. You treat them with the same respect. You, you do your homework on them just like you would any other side. Yeah, 100%, because we've seen it with results this season where we've had Barnsley away and we've had other games. So I think we can see that how, if we play the way we need to play, we can do well. Something that I've spoken to a lot of the players about in the last couple of weeks is the fact that a, a, a large majority of the squad are now back fit available and that that has increased the intensity the intensity sorry in training is that something that you've seen as well yeah 100 percent. i think you can tell that everyone's fighting for a place everyone's flat uh, fighting for a name on that starting lineup so it's it's good training training's intense training's good so it's it's great to sort of have that competition and it is of course giving the manager that headache where he's having to leave perfectly fit players out of the match day squad as well so Obviously, we're all, all of you working hard to, to, to make sure you're not one of those four or five players that, that's left out. Yeah, 100%. I think I wouldn't like to have that job of trying to choose who should be in this starting lineup every week. So it's good that everyone's really putting it in and training. So making that decision even harder. You don't think you just have a manager in you later in life? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about you then. I mean, conversations how often do you have a conversation with Chelsea and the, and the loans manager there and, and what have they perhaps said to you about how they found your time here so far yeah I, I kind of I speak to the loan manager sort of after every game regularly during the week so it's they're really um happy with my place down here and they really think it's been really good loan for me so far so they're all happy so everything's all good and you're clearly enjoying it I think you're one of those players that's always got a smile on their face so um X to seem to seem a little bit like home. Yeah, I think it's it's really become a bit of a home for me down there. So I feel I stay here most weekends. So <laughs> <laughs> we're really enjoying life down there. Something that the manager's spoken about uh, before is is home form and how we always need the supporters behind us. Away from home, with our three of our last away wins, we scored an early goal. How important is it? You know, find a way to get that early goal at home because that can really set the tone for the game. Yeah, I think that early goal is it, so important. It it makes us start the game when we start the game well. I feel like it it kind of carries on into the rest of the game. So I think it's it makes the the whole game a lot easier when we get that early goal, get the crowd on top of them. So I think it really makes it a lot better for us and more difficult for them. Can you pin down why you think you know goals at home haven't been too easy to find yet? When we're away from home, we seem to have that expressive freedom a, a lot easier. Honestly, I couldn't really tell you. I think it's just been the luck of it. I think we can definitely get that early goal at home. I don't think it's, uh, there's anything really to do with that. All right, Dion. Thanks a lot. Hola.